Hi everybody, my name is David, thank you for watching. Today's video is about narcissist and addiction. I've had a lot of people asking me to just talk about this, make some kind of video about how profound addiction, addictions are with narcissists and all personality disorders. Profound, profound. So, you know, addiction don't just apply to narcissists. Uh, a lot of us suffering from abuse are resorting to addictions, aren't we? A lot of them, a lot of us are, and um, and maybe this will be the only time that we uh, are suffering from addictions. Hopefully, um, so I'm going to talk about addiction a little bit, um, and and you'll start to understand. I hope why narcissists uh, might have a lot of addictions, and uh, why we might have everyone. So basically, it's a compulsive engagement rewarding. In, in rewarding stimuli, despite negative or adverse consequences. Addictions are not the root of the problem. I believe that the that problems are the root of addiction, that addiction is a symptom. Um, it's a combination of physical, mental, and emotional factors that play in people that have addictions. Uh, basically, it's self-medicating instead of healing. It's escaping. It's... Um, it, 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 and this escaping makes a very poor sense of, of who people are, of your identity, a sense of who we are, right? Um, I've talked about um, dissociating. And people that dissociate a lot, that escape, have real problems with their identity. They might get disassociative identity disorders. Um, so... Doing drugs a lot, addictions and, and things like this, do the same thing. They, they really ha force people to have a real s poor sense of self uh, and identity problems and crises. And um, so addictions cause delusional thinking, forces as addicts to build a false self, false ego. It's inherently narcissistic. Okay, addicts are inherently narcissistic talked a lot about how um, you know bad drug addicts will look like borderlines and things like this um, just know that addictions people's addictions they always come first and they're very protective so you can't have relationships with addicts okay that are still in their addictions okay because we do drugs and our addictive behaviors is for a lack of security in our lives, a lack of security. And we accept this lack of security throughout our lives and in our childhood and then in our relationships. Um, uncertainty, anxiety, lack of confidence, hurt, pain, trauma, um, narcissist self-sabotage, and addictions are self-sabotaging. And they make us open and, and addicts open to danger uh, and take risks. Take risks with an extreme disregard to consequences. Um, this allows us to stay in bad relationships, you know. And these disregard to consequences were taught to people in their childhood, addicts. And I truly believe that addicts are manipulators, and we know this, right? But it, I believe it wasn't the addiction that taught them to manipulate. I believe addiction is a, a is cause, or let's say manipulators already are profound to be addicts. And manipulation is taught to people in their childhood. So people that, um, and I can, I can know this, people, people that I know are manipulative, I know that they were taught this in their childhood, and what that means is, is a lack of consequences. So when a child commits a, the crime, they don't do the time, and the parent teaches them that by simple things. And this starts really, really young age. Is a child can learn to cry. You know, they start learning that if they cry, the parent backs off and doesn't punish. Okay, and imagine how quick. And early, a child can learn that. Um, and then, you know, blaming the brother. Um, I didn't mean to. I didn't know. I'm sorry. 
right away, you know, and, and avoid the consequence. And they teach, it's taught that to the child. No consequences to their actions, okay? Um, addictions over time challenges self-control and interferes with the ability to re resist intense urges. So the longer you're in this addiction cycle, it really challenges, you know, your the control of yourself and what you do, um, and, and to resist urges. Very compulsive. Also makes a person maladaptive to their environment, perverse in all areas of their life. And here's some addictions that you guys, you know, I'm, there there's obvious addictions, but I'm just going to list just a few right here. That and there may be some that you don't even realize can be addictive. Food, eating, sex, pornography, internet, video games, working, huge, working, exercising, spiritual, pain, cutting, shopping. And people do this because they're emotionally destabilized and want to, they believe that will help them be more stable. Okay? And, but what it really does is it emotionally halts any growth in your life. So basically, whenever you start an addiction in your life, that is when your emotionally, emotional growth halts. So you have a narcissist who halted emotional growth, you know, maybe by seven, eight years old, really. And so it is just... I mean, it makes perfect sense to me that just a few years later, they'll start having these addictions arise. Makes perfect sense to me. Um, what needs to happen, and it's just like, I just made a video about how love is very similar to, the, to our brains as drugs. And we need to get out of this cycle of, of the addiction of, of, of how it feels and start doing things for ourselves to feel good, you know, or on our own. Um, this is clearly, anyone that has addictions clearly was taught that outside external things is what we need to be happy. And that's a real, just not control. You're not in control of your life and you can't be in control of, you know, feelings, emotions, maybe thoughts, and definitely behaviors, okay? Um, I hope this helped you guys understand a little bit about addiction and why it's just so obvious that people, narcissists, people with personality disorders, where they're already in conflict with who they are, have a poor sense of self, massive insecurities, and, you know, shame, feeling like we're bad people, all this stuff. And a narcissist does what? A narcissist really masks their ego has that false, that false who they are, and drugs really help that, reinforce that. Um, so, what needs to happen is personal development, guys. Just like you get, just like we need to stop dating for a little while, stop being in that cycle, in that addiction cycle of love. Um, it, we need to work on ourselves, right? So we can have good relationships, and we need to develop emotionally and personally and physically and all these things mentally so that we don't need addictions, okay, to cover up our pain and insecurity. Thanks, guys. Ask me any questions you have. Offer anything else you guys have. Thank you very much and love yourself first. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.